Hello, and welcome to my channel, where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'll be sharing my final haul from Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale, as well as reviewing some of the sale perfumes. Thank you so much for stopping by, and let's get started. The Victoria's Secret summer semi-annual sale is winding down, and I'm not sure exactly when it's going to end, as I haven't noted a date, but the sale started online on June 8th and in store on June 13th, so I imagine it should be ending any day now, and possibly even this weekend. I did make a video of my initial sale haul, which included a lot of VS and pink body care, and we'll link that in the description box if you haven't seen that yet. But I wanted to also share the rest of the beauty items that I picked up throughout the sale. I'm also going to include some brief reviews of some of the perfumes included in the sale that people have been requesting. Sorry that this video is a bit late, but VS typically leaves sale beauty items in their clearance section after SAS ends, so you should still be able to pick up some of these items if there's any remaining stock. And now let's get on to the haul. Starting with perfumes, first I finally got my Tees Valentine's Day Collector's Edition. I was sad because the first one that I ordered actually got lost in the mail, but I was able to get another when I saw a pop back. I mainly got this for collection purposes because I think the little heart design is cute, and this is the regular Tees fragrance, just in a limited edition bottle. I also got the matching candle that was released along with the perfume, and again, this is in the regular Tees scent. Victoria's Secret has been releasing candles with some of their perfumes lately, and I think that they're decent quality. I didn't really need another candle, I just thought that this was really cute and I want to keep the jar. And for reference, here's what the perfume looks like next to last year's collector's edition, which is also part of semi-annual sale, but I'm not sure if it's still available. And these are both 3.4 ounce bottles, which I believe was the only size that they came in. I also picked up another bottle of Fearless. I couldn't resist with the extra 30% off sale deal that they had, and I just love this scent so much. I did a dedicated review on this perfume where I compared it to the original version if you want to check that out. And I had picked up So In Love in my initial haul, but I wanted to quickly review the scent for you. This has notes of violet leaves, rose de mai, and musk, and this is a 3.4 ounce bottle. And this is an older scent from the mid-2000s, and the original had other notes that included cognac, carnation, jasmine, and honey, so we'll have to see if any of those are still present. And the scent opens very floral, with a strong rose and a bit of freshness and greenness from the violet leaf. The rose feels authentic, kind of like a fresh bouquet of petals and stems. And there's also sort of a clean, soapy quality to the scent, as well as a hint of powderiness. There is a bit of sweetness, but it's more of a floral sweetness. And I do feel like there's another floral note in here other than rose. I do like this scent, but I don't think it's something that I'll wear super often. You really need to like rose scents if you want to get this one, because that's primarily what this is. And I do think that it feels elegant and pretty. Then I also decided to get a backup of Tees Rebel in the new packaging. And this has notes of violet leaf, wild rose, and white leather. And this is a 3.4 ounce bottle. And this is a very powdery, violet heavy scent. I do get the rose as well, and there's a bit of an overall greenness to the fragrance. It's very ozonic, clean, and fresh and I don't find the leather to be too noticeable. I don't really care for leather and fragrances, and I don't find it off-putting here at all. I really like Tees Rebel, and it's actually one of my favorites in the Tees line. I also wanted to show you what the new bottle on the right looks like next to the original bottle on the left. I'm glad that they kept most of the original design, but I do wish they had also included the netting around the neck. Next, I picked up a backup of Basic Instinct, which I already have in this sale packaging. And this has notes of Purple Plum, Tuberose, and Sexy Patchouli, and this is a 3.4 ounce bottle. And this is another older scent from the early 2000s that they brought back again in this plain bottle. It's a very dark floral scent with syrupy plum and a soft tuberose. The patchouli is very noticeable and adds an earthiness to the fragrance. This is a pretty strong scent, that's quite sexy, as they noted, and I think it's better suited for evening. This isn't one that I'll wear often, but I do think it's a nice throwback scent that's good to have on hand for special occasions. And finally, I picked up Scandalous, which is actually from last year's semi-annual sale, but I hadn't bought a backup then and have come to enjoy it more. And this has notes of raspberry liqueur, black peony, and sweet praline, and this is a 3.4 ounce bottle. 
And this opens with a dark, syrupy raspberry that's not too tart. And it also has kind of a powdery quality. The liqueur adds a slightly dark, boozy feeling, but I don't think it's very prominent. I mostly get a soft floral with raspberry and praline. It's not overly gourmand, but it does have a nice amount of sweetness. This one is still available, but it's not showing up in the beauty section, but if you search the name, it should come up. This 3.4 ounce bottle is marked down to $29.99, so it's a pretty good deal, especially if you wait for an extra percent off. And moving on to the rest of my haul, I picked up the Heavenly and Dream Angel Cloud Body Creams. Victoria's Secret makes nice body butters for their perfume line, so when they come out, I always like to pick them up. These seem to have a light, fluffy whip texture, and I think that they smell really nice. I also picked up the Bombshell Isle Pearlescent Body Wash. This also comes in the regular Bombshell scent, but I don't really care for that, so I opted for this one. I have some regular VS body washes, but I don't think I've tried a pearlescent one before, so I was interested in testing this out. Then from Pink, I picked up a backup set of the Cocoa Coffee Body Lotion and Body Scrub. I do enjoy this scent, and I don't find the coffee to be too strong. You can see all the other pink scents that I picked up in my first semi-annual sale haul, which I will link in the description box. I also got a few more random scrubs since these are being discontinued, at least in this packaging, and I do really like these. I grabbed the Honey, Cocoa Vanilla, and Honey Kiwi scents. I also picked up a couple more of the Honey Body Wash. This is my favorite of all the pink body washes, and while it's still available in new packaging, they've reduced the size and increased the price. I'm also not sure if they've changed the formula at all, so I wanted to stock up on the old bottles while they were still available. And lastly, the pink candles are also on sale for $6.99, and I picked up the Honey, Cocoa Vanilla, and Cocoa Scents. These are single wick candles in heavy glass packaging, and I think they smell pretty nice and just like the matching body care. So that's it for my final Victoria's Secret Summer Semi-Annual Sale Haul. I was decently happy with the sale this year, mostly because of the perfumes that they brought back, especially Fearless. I really love that scent, and I'm glad that I could repurchase it, but I am disappointed that they didn't bring back the matching body lotions for the perfumes like they usually do. I was also happy to be able to buy a lot of the discontinued pink body care in the Honey and Cocoa lines, but I am sad that they've repackaged those and that they're phasing some scents out. Let me know what you thought of the VS sale this time around and what you picked up. Thank you for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.